Um, how's it going? Hope everybody is well. Um, we had a very uh, action-packed Saturday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we did. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, uh, okay, begin. We got up, and the first thing on our agenda had to do with one of this one's favorite bands. Mm -hmm. um, My lovely band Rush that I absolutely love. <laughs> and um, he had sent me a thing um, like just last week or something. Um, saying, yeah, it wasn't that long ago yeah, yes, that I noticed it. Saying Fulton's going to have the Rush album. Which, um, as to before this, you could only get in can good old Canada, eh? And so we had to go, and um, I was like, well, yeah, I'm in. Let's go. And he's like, hey, it's right before Death Fest, and we could go do that first. And yeah, so... it'll be a nice little warm up to, to Midwest Midwest Death Fest. Yes. Which is a mouthful. I wish you would have named it something different because that is so uh -huh. hard to say at the beginning of each interview. <laughs> um, or, or Midwest Metal Promotions. Both of them are mouthfuls and they're mm -hmm. hard to get out. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so we so we headed on over to Fulton, mm -hmm. trying to avoid all of the Swifties and, and the Pride people. Nothing against the Pride people. We love you. We love uh, you all. But we love everybody. There's just big, I mean, massive crowds of people downtown. Uh, yeah. And luckily Fulton, um, neither of us had been there, is mm -hmm. actually kind of outside of downtown. Um, just on the other side of uh, the Twin Stadium, right? I believe or so. Or over there, over yeah, there somewhere. Yeah, it was kind of over, um, yeah, just, just off of 94 a little bit, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, right past where uh, the, the uh, farmer's market is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like, yeah, not, not too far from there. We just drove past the farmer's market, and I was like, oh, and he's like, oh, it's open again, but... Yeah, because um, I thought they closed it, at least during COVID, but mm -hmm. it must be open again. But, mm -hmm. yeah, um, so we got there, and then, because I was like, Fulton, I know the name, and then it's like, oh, they make Lonely Blonde. I've mm -hmm. heard of that beer. I've never had it, but I've heard of it, so at least... Lonely Blonde and um, Sweet Child of Vine. I've Sweet Child of Vine, one. and um, yeah. mm -hmm. what was the, the coffee? Uh, coffin, coffin oh, something. Coffin Dodger. Coffin Dodger. Uh, yeah, Which is just a good name. Emergency <laughs> Snow, Snow Emergency or snow something emergency. is a porter that they had. Um, um, yeah, I, again, yeah. With, with the very clever mm. clever names uh, in the craft beer world. But I that was not about that. quite a menu there, too, that looked the, good. Yeah, the, so. the food menu uh, sounded really good as mm -hmm. well. We did, we did not um, mm. get anything to eat there. Mm. Um, but, yeah, that all looked really good, too. Anyway, so we walked in and, and went up to the hostess person yeah. whatever she was mm -hmm. and kind of you know we're here for the thing and they were all I, we could already see about a dozen different rush shirts and they mm -hmm. were playing they had a 12-hour rush playlist they're playing all day mm -hmm. and so we already knew you know it was we found my people we found her people mm -hmm. um and <laughs> they had I don't know how much of this is going to show up on camera. It's it's pretty awesome. It's real shiny. It's thick, real shiny. Nice it's paper. really high quality. It's, it's almost signals, photographic. It's the signal 40th, uh, 40th anniversary. anniversary poster. Yeah, um, which would actually be last year, but hey, I'm not going to argue with the beautiful yeah, close, poster. Yeah, close so and they were just giving these out. Mm -hmm. Yep, you walk in and as soon as you walk in, that's what you got. Um, yeah. And then they had, well, I mean. They had a lot of shirts and um, a few different merch things, but... Yeah, well, we'll start with this one. Yeah, I saw this one and it just and struck me as yeah, nice. Yeah, she was looking for a tank, so now she has an actual Volt, uh, Fulton. And then with the gears on the side, if clockwork, if you're a rush maniac like me, you know, this just instantly, even though it has nothing to do with it, but this reminded me of Clockwork Angels, because mm -hmm. they have like the steampunk, Rush has like Clockwork Angels um, album, and it's got like a steampunk kind of vibe. Uh, athletic, uh, and athletic. So, and it's a aesthetic. real nice shirt, and it's um, it's actually a running shirt, which is haha -ha because I don't run, but um, it's very nice. and um, it, It's got like the sweat wicking stuff mm -hmm. and, and whatever. And that some reflective is, stuff and on reflective it. Reflective stuff on it, so, so we don't get hit, that's good. Yeah. Um, but then they also had... Yeah, which is just awesome. And books, what is it? Books are for tourists, beers, beers for are geniuses. for beers for geniuses. Yeah, 
and then it's got it's got hold your fire album on there press presto uh, better beer and then snakes and arrows and it's golden nail 5.5 percent alk by beer so mm -hmm. so it's a it's a nice and it's a nice soft yeah material. i mean it, yeah it's a really good shirt um yeah not too thick so. oh yeah this is one of the next level ones they're they're, oh, they're nice shirts the a lot of bands are using brand? those yeah okay. um, oh and then it's got your star man and, and yeah, then and then it's got your, your Fulton on his on his sleeve. Yeah, because Fulton is now the official Rush uh, home of the Rush Ale. Home, home of the Rush Ale, which is awesome. Yes, um, absolutely. If you didn't know that Rush was making beer now and mustard and yeah, they have like a stone ground mustard, which I should have seen if I could buy, but not like they're states away or anything. You know, mm -hmm. you can always go back and you know check yeah, it out see some if they other have time. It. Um, but but they also had. We're doing um, raffles, mm -hmm. and for every uh, purchase you made, you got a ticket. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, a ticket, and then they would every half hour. And then every every half hour, they did another ra or pulled like two raffles, mm -hmm. and they had a table full of like assorted Rush uh, merchandise. A really really nice coffee table book. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, really really cool. That that had all of their um, show flyers in it mm -hmm. for like the entire history that was really cool um they had i mean like your your can koozies and, and the mustard they did have the mustard, they had mustard, up there the mustard. And um different little and things bottle and... openers and and mm -hmm. stickers and all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. but yeah. so we got there and and our buddy wayne oh yeah i walked when we were walking <laughs> up i'm like i saw i saw the motorcycle with the i don't know what kind of motorcycle it is because i don't pay a lot of attention but mm -hmm. Um, it's the silver one and it has a print symbol on the front and um, so I knew I'm like ah, I think that's Wayne's motorcycle and go in and sure enough there he is because mm -hmm. I completely believed that he was going to be there he had also posted I think beforehand about I it believe and, so yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah so we walked in and he was in there as a hi and whatever and talking and um, you know get a beer and went, went and talked and he was telling me I was taking pictures of all the different crazy shirts and stuff like that and the guy with the tights and yeah there was um, a guy w with a pair of tights mm -hmm. um that had all the different album covers Th those yeah. were um distracting to, <laughs> to say the least um hey, i mean they, they were cool they, ways, they were but... really really awesome um yeah. i mean kudos for for mm -hmm. doing that and wearing those but yeah yeah those, those were yeah so so yeah um, we saw we ran into wayne and sat with him a bit and mm -hmm. ran up and um I met a new, I've got two new friends up there. So I was kept thinking everybody looks like I should know them, but I don't know if I know them kind mm -hmm. of a thing. And um, so, yeah, so if you were there and I'm supposed to know you and I didn't realize it was you or whatever, just people got to come up to me. And say, if you know I'm one of those rush maniacs, come say hi. But mm -hmm. um, I'm really bad about knowing, you know, and then like sometimes pictures on Facebook, you look, People don't look like their pictures. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, that, that's so. that's a phrase that I've been saying for a while. Do I know you or do I Facebook know you? Yeah, because there is a difference. Mm -hmm. So, um, but anyways, <laughs> so I was going up to get uh, the the rush crawlers there, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I was just waiting. I paid. I kind of scooted to the side a little bit to get my stuff organized, and um, there was a gentleman there, and. Uh, he noticed your oh blood my war blood shirt. war shirt that's yeah because she was wearing uh, the blood war uh, inner inner demon mm -hmm. uh, album shirt yeah so and I contemplated wearing a rush shirt to the rush thing but I'm like well you know there's gonna be a ton of rush people there and I have mm -hmm. my rush tattoo and I was just like ah eh, you know I'm gonna be at Duck Fest so I'm gonna wear something you know a little more apropos for that but mm -hmm. um and he's like blood war oh I I played in that band for a little while and I'm like really and, and he's like yeah but it's been a while and talk talk and mm -hmm. um so that's Mike Fiato is his name yes and um yes. and then his gal Laura so I, I talked to them a little bit and I'm like oh, man I gotta go get my guy and I'm like come over here and little like, it, it was yeah, like I know I 20 minutes I wandered I know <laughs> well, we were and, rush talking no I, and I because yeah. I, I looked over it's like oh okay she found a new friend yeah. and then it's like oh there's a I'm bad like so. that. Like, and then I'm like, okay. And I should have just walked over there, but yeah. I, I was just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, I know. And then I'm like, you guys, I'm like, hey, 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 I gotta go get my guy. And mm -hmm. like, 
bring him over here because he's probably wondering what happened to me. And, um, <laughs> and we were start talking. We were talking about local bands and stuff. And mm -hmm. um, and this Mike's in um, destroyed the planet. Destroyed the, the planet, band. I believe. And um, so he was like, "Oh, we're gonna be playing turmoil and whatever." And I'm like, uh, "Yeah, I gotta go get my guy." Like, yeah, and, and then came you know, back, and then we so, started talking about the terminal, and mm -hmm. and and just kind of went on from there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there, yeah, yeah. He seemed really cool. He yeah, seemed really cool. There were and, not real nice people. And, and again, after like talking to him for a little bit, it's like as we're as we're leaving, it's like he see yeah, he does yeah. seem very familiar. Like I'm sure I've seen him possibly met him at some point in the last like eight years. Yeah. Um and just didn't realize it or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's what I say. If you know I'm somewhere and there's and you're like, hey, I think I know her or, you know, come over and say hi because I'm if I'm unless I'm relatively thinking I know someone, I usually try not to bother them. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, <clears throat> and so, like Wayne, I I I know recognize him enough to go over and bug him. But um, but yeah, so we had a couple new friends, and they mm -hmm. had been at the um, mysteriously plagued Medina show for a Rush tribute project, also. Which um, we yeah, which we did which talk about. We on, talked on about the it. And, yeah. Um. So yeah. Which, which was fun. I mean that yeah. But yeah, we didn't win any raffle things. We did not win any raffles. Uh, um, when we left, we did hand... Uh, Wayne, the rest Wayne, of the tickets. Well, half our tickets. Well, yeah, because I found more in my pocket later, and I'm like, ah. Yeah. Um, um, and I and I hope he won on those, cause I, yeah. because I... Plus, he, yeah. He won once, like, mm -hmm. and he went up there, and, and we were talking about it before all of this, and, mm -hmm. and just making conversation. I was like, you know, have you looked at the table and, and decided what you're going to pick up if you win? And he's like, eh, you know, kind of whatever. And, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, we were looking, and, you know, Satara said that if we won, I have to pick up one of the wall uh, bottle openers. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay. And then so, like... Mm -hmm. 10 minutes later or whatever he won yeah and and he picked up one of the books and then he kind of chucked yeah, that was awesome. that was... the it bottle opener at cool. me which is awesome and he was like there you go and mm -hmm. i was like oh, cool. oh awesome man thanks yeah. cool um that's really a, a nice present that is that is Thank very cool you. yeah mm. yeah because you have the it is really just awesome I think that's what they call ASL. A, a, they call a, it ASMR now. Is AMSR. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a... Yeah, Rush that. Golden Ale. And then you got the little, got little crown. crown. I don't know. A, Farewell to Kings. Oh, is that Farewell to Kings? I think it's a Farewell to Kings reference. I yeah. would assume so. Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. Unless it's some sort of uh, insignia of the beer. Beer, beer company that they're working mm, with. Could be. Which could be. Yeah. Um, but I either way... I crown and I think Farewell to Kings. Yeah. But. Um, um, but either way, that's really, really freaking cool. Mm -hmm. And and thank you, Wayne, for, yes. for doing that. Yes. And and I really hope you won after that, especially mm -hmm. with our tickets. That would be mm -hmm. cool. Um, and that, that book was just that that book book gorgeous. That book was awesome. I'm I know gonna, you were looking at I'm going to have to look can order one. somewhere and see if that exists mm -hmm. somewhere else and how much it is. Because mm -hmm. I might need one of those. Because yeah. even though I don't have a coffee table to put well, coffee table books on. You have but your media shelves. And this is true. This all is true. that. But, but, I mean, it was like a big, like... Well, once it, it was a, when we join yeah. forces, as you say, we'll yeah. Have when a when we table, combine forces, so. we will, mm -hmm. we will, oh, we will, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so that was that was fun. Yeah, and and it, it was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be going in. Like mm -hmm. I, I was like, okay, this is you know whatever. I I, I mean, I literally could have hang out hung out there mm -hmm. the majority of the day. Oh yeah, yeah. It was it was, it was just good vibes. It was just cool people and. Yeah, because they were going to do some um, Rush trivia later, and there was some kind of games or something. Yeah, there was... There like, was there's all day yeah, like, all, things. Yeah, because it so, ran from, like, noon to 8 or something. I think it was at least 5 to 8, or 5 or 8, but I think... I think it was 8. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Lat ran literally all day, and, and yeah, it was, it was just a good time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, nice. unfortunately, we had to cut out early. Mm -hmm. um, because we had to go, of course, to Midwest, Midwest, that mm -hmm. best. You might want to pause because you dropped a whole bunch of stickers on the floor, unless you just let me go get them from the floor. Uh, you can do that. Okay, so I'm going to, you keep talking, I'm going to yeah. go grab. So, and we had to get over there early, um, so show started at, five and this is at minnesota music cafe in mm -hmm. in st paul 
which is a, a lovely venue. I mean, I really like that place. I know you really like that place. Yeah, even um, after the first time I went there, it's like been, I can picture it in my mind. It's like mm -hmm. just such a um, unique a very unique space and very welcoming I always very feel welcoming so comfortable. It, it is very good and i think um for people like us mm -hmm. i think because if you've seen my apartment you know mm -hmm. it's pretty much like that i mean there's just memorabilia everywhere and i think that's why i feel so comfortable there is because it mm -hmm. feels like home yeah because they have <laughs> cases they have like boxes of vinyls that you can go through you know buy for a couple of bucks mm -hmm. they have just different pictures and stuff on the walls. Oh, yeah. Or... I mean, the walls are covered. Mm -hmm. A large part of the bar just has like stand, stand standing bar. frames mm -hmm. and uh, just pictures. And I mean, because as, as we discovered, um, as we discovered, um, it was first opened in 1933. Yeah. So we're talking, you know, pre-big band at that point. Um, so it's been around for a while, mm -hmm. um, oh, and goodness. and um, yeah, it's just a good place. It, it's and they just, I mean, in the recently, like in the last couple of years, I think they've started doing more more metal shows. Because mm -hmm. um, the first time you were there was yeah. uh, for Living Through Ghosts mm -hmm. or Trent's uh, last show with Living Through Ghosts. Yeah, and his I, birthday party. His show. birthday party show mm -hmm. was that. Yeah, it was a birthday party show. I know it was a birthday show, but was that his last show? With Living Through Ghosts, as far as I know, it was. Okay. As far as I remember. Okay, got it. I don't know if, if those those were two separate shows or not. No, it was the same show. I'm okay. I'm pretty sure, because at his bonfire, then I would said something, and he was like, yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't remember who else was on that bill. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, the staff there... Uh, Everybody that we talked to was really, really and nice. And Karen, Karen's my favorite. Yeah, she Karen, Karen, nice... Karen is is an older uh, bartender. I'm sure she's been there for forty years. Yeah. Um, but nice. but she was really nice. She was cool. Um, mm -hmm. We liked her. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason we had to get there early, so shows that started at five, uh, doors opened at four. We had to be there early because just like last year. Um, I was doing interviews uh, with with the bands, which I did better this year than I did last mm -hmm. year. Because mm -hmm. uh, last year I missed about half of the bands, I think. And this year I only missed one, and actually could have gotten the last one if we were thinking straight at the end of the night. Yeah, I was <laughs> and, just and, like, I'm mad. I'm still mad at myself. And and I feel bad now because because. They were one of the bands that was... But they looked tired, though, too. That, they did look really tired. The guy at the... And, I can't and, remember his name now, but... Uh, um, the singer guy? Yeah. Uh, jo Jordan. Okay, yeah. I think it's Jordan. He looked tired. He he looked exhausted. And then he was um, there schlepping all the merch, And then too, schlepping so. all the merch, and yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but really, really nice guy. Mm -hmm. um, and, but they were a band that, that flew in from New York, and I think were having... Uh, flight problems and mm. so there's there was a little bit of stuff going on but yeah oh they had um, a delay i think they had a delay yeah, said, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um but anyway um but yeah i mean just talking to him afterwards really really mm -hmm. solid solid guys and um yeah just really nice and and i feel bad that i didn't interview you and i apologize so now they have to come so back. now so now when you come back yes uh mm -hmm. or or uh i could get a hold of you we could do uh a longer one too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do your um, internet. Yeah, the, the, the that's Zoom one. You guys do so. Yeah. Yeah, or something like that. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, get a hold of him, and you guys can do your Zoom thing. So. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, so anyway, so we got there about two. It was around two thirty ish. Two thirty ish. A little, before, uh, a little before, a little after, whenever it was, but right around two thirty, mm -hmm. um, and we left. Uh, 12, 12 30. Yeah. I mean, we were, we were like there that. for like, for like mm -hmm. 10 hours. Mm -hmm. it, it was a long day. <laughs> um, as I was telling her, by the time we got home, I had forgotten that we had gone to Fulton first yeah. thing in the morning, <laughs> like completely. Yeah, it was gone. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. We literally had a trunk full of merch. Literally. He, yeah. Yeah. He said, he comes yeah. like, I'm still sleeping. I'm like, you're awake already. He's like, yeah, I went down to get the merch. He goes, that was a surprise. Oh, that was beautiful. I opened and the trunk and it's just a, a trunk, trunk of, merch. Full of merch. It's like, yeah. 
So, and then he's like, I forgot we went to Fulton until I saw the stuff sitting in there. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. Huh. <laughs> so that was, that was a fun <clears throat> beginning of your day, huh? Yeah, no, that, that was, yeah, that mm -hmm. was awesome. Except yeah. I couldn't figure out how to lock your car. Yeah. Even which, though the, the, anyway. It's, that, a, it's, yeah. it's an interesting little vehicle. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was, it was a long day, but it was totally worth it. But yeah, no, it, it was very, very cool. So even before door started, I got, let's see, one, two, three, like six, no, five, five of the eight mm. before um, doors even opened. Yeah. So that, I was good. impressed with myself for that. That, and, yeah. and we actually had, because I don't know if you guys watched the video from last year, which was turned out to be very long, and I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, this year, when I do the one for MMP, I'll, I'll make sure it's nice and short mm -hmm. and tight and mm -hmm. just what we need. Um, but if you remember from that one, uh, the interviews that I did were kind of all over the place. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Some were outside, some were inside, some were, you know, wherever. So this year, we're just like, okay, we're just going to find a table yep. and, like, hunker down and have everybody at the table. And um, that seemed to work out fairly well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Except for, I mean, there are two exceptions. Uh -huh. um, the first band up. Um, so I, we, Jill Serpent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, we were, I was trying to wrangle them. I and, know. I and know. they were all missing people. And it's like, <laughs> that, and then that was finally the, uh, the uh, I don't remember his name. Burn Burns, the, the lead singer guy with the gorgeous black hair. Um, I don't remember his name. Um, came over and he was just like, you know, we are on stage in 15 minutes and, you know, mm. can, we, can we just do it after a set? And I was like, of course, mm -hmm. prepare, do do what you got to do, you know, no problem, we'll, we'll catch up later. Mm -hmm. um, so that one I did outside, um, right outside the, the stage door, uh, right in front of their van, as because mm -hmm. they were, they just got done packing up. So that, mm -hmm. that was, and then the other one that I did uh, outside of the table was um, Poon Tickler who and we'll get to them in a little bit because they they were interesting mm -hmm. um i think i bought a shirt that i can't even show on youtube <laughs> um, i was gonna say can you even show i I, I, will, I will do just enough Oof, da. Yeah. it's <laughs> um, definitely a, a work of art put, put it to you this way if you're familiar with the cannibal corpse cover for tomb of the mutilated that's the inspiration for it also they do it 10 times worse um <laughs> In a, in a good way. I'm not insulting in any way, shape, or form, because you guys That's their style. are actually really, really cool guys, mm -hmm. cool people. Um, mm -hmm. But their interview I did by their merch table literally halfway through as Bludgeoned is starting mm -hmm. to play. Mm -hmm. And so that, well, yeah. But thanks to your new little contraption you got, it turned out better than we had expected. So. Their answers turned out better. You couldn't hear my questions because mm -hmm. I was on the other side of the um, mic. So I have to figure figure something for that out. Mm -hmm. um, but it, uh, I don't know. We'll mm -hmm. figure. We'll figure. We'll play with it. Figure it out. Anyway, all that being said, um, so show started five a little bit after, mm -hmm. and and Natalie, I think, had come over at some point, and we we're just chatting, and she was like, you know, have you heard of this band, you know, Celestial Serpent? I'm like, no, and she's like, oh, mm -hmm. these guys will rip your head off, <laughs> and the the thought being you know let's start this thing off with a bang and yeah. they fucking did because mm -hmm. Jesus Christ <laughs>
Um, okay. It's about so to wrangle the merch over here. Wrangle the merch. So, I mean, so why don't you go through whatever notes you have for these guys? Okay. So, and, well, first of all, at some point in the night, I decided that um, Miss Natalie, talking to different people and stuff about, and just, you know, bringing up just the amount of work going into the setting up the show, getting everybody together, you know, wrangling bands, doing this, doing that that um, Miss Natalie should be the princess of metal and I need to get a, like a kick-ass tiara for her to have next year so spoiler alert um, and you're gonna have to remind me so that mm -hmm. I have a year to do it which you would think that's a long time but I'm one of those procrastinator people and a year ago by it's like three days before and I'm like oh shit like um Ooh, I gotta find something. So, um, yeah, that green is just killer. So yeah, and, you can't and go if, wrong you, with that if green. you know me, I'll buy anything mm, with that color green yep, on it. Yeah, like, it's insane. just that. that uh, beautiful yeah, green. and we and we didn't get any CDs from them because they didn't have any. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So, but so trust trust me, we got enough from the rest of the bands to make mm. up for it. Oh yeah. This yep. is this is outside of Rockfest. For a local show, this uh -huh. is probably our biggest merch hall. Yeah, it easily. Yeah, oh yeah, other than Rockfest, yeah, because yeah. this is yeah, there were so many bands and just so, so many bands good. and so many good bands so, and and yeah. Mm, so the only band we didn't end up getting merch from was Pursuit because we just got because we from literally them. two weeks ago just yeah. got stuff from them. Yeah. So um, so we were like, well, man, yeah. yeah, we already got. So anyway, Celestial Serpent, uh, they're from Wisconsin. Um, well, that's but half Wisconsin, half uh, Illinois. Okay, you go ahead um, and say what you know because I don't know everything. Well, yeah, so because that was my that was my first question was like you know, you're from Wisconsin, but my info meaning that mm, listed Natalie put interview. out yeah. said you're from Chicago, and they're like, well, you know, like mm -hmm. half of us are from Wisconsin, the other half are from you know Chicago area, like Northern Illinois. So you know, kind of both. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, cool, mm -hmm. we'll run with that. As I said, you know, nice, nice Midwestern boys. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, for Walford notes because I've been. You know trying to take notes um i have um <laughs> well insane drummer because you know i like what drummers say he's mm -hmm. a pretty insane mm. oh and he lost his shirt oh no he lost his shirt on right before oh, the no. last song yeah i know which, which i was thinking really mm. i mean yeah. halfway through the set i get it but it's like really right before the last song huh? well, you're hot and sweaty um, drummers are hot and sweaty this like, is true and and um, again talk to him cool mm. guy so and and we bonded a little bit so yeah so i got um growl growly vocals because mm -hmm. that's the thing tight fast interesting i they really pull you in mm -hmm. um they had, they had a good interaction with the crowd yeah you yeah, know yeah. kind of had a thing going on there yeah. um but um and then i think you had added the brutal death metal and the steamroller they had that steamroller that effect. just kind of shrunk just kind of like um ran you over nicely ran you over yes um, yes as, as we're discovering a lot of these bands do mm -hmm. um where it's almost like not quite meditative but you can just kind of sit there and kind of close oh, yeah. your eyes and just oh, kind of yeah. absorb it and and it just kind of rolls over you and mm -hmm. yeah i like it I, I i just the feeling i get when there's that onslaught of just pummeling you and it just beats all the shit right out of me like all mm -hmm. the stress and everything else mm -hmm. just like like Gets it out of me. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, and then they did have some slower intros, kind of some build up in some songs. Yeah, yeah. Like like the first song mm -hmm. they played um, had a, a fairly long, like um, more uh, melodic type intro. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay. And then once they kicked in, it's like, oh, okay. That yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to make sure. I know I didn't. I might not took notes on everybody. So I'm trying to hope I got notes for most people. Mm -hmm. Got notes for eight bands. Yeah, and there were only eight bands. So, Sweet. So I think you got. So everybody. I got at least something for everybody then. Yeah. Um. All right. So yeah. No, I I definitely I I definitely liked them. Um, yeah, they they were cool. They I wasn't cool. sure like what that kind of a name what to expect, but um, like you said, Natalie, I said woo, mm -hmm. and so. Mm -hmm. And and just a side note, because I know we talked about this at the Duluth show, and it may seem stupid, but and I was talking to. Uh, one of one of the two drummer either i think the drummer for celestial serpent and um uh broken flesh mm. was up there pulling mm. his gear out and we we're talking about it and i'm like you know as an old school metal guy i appreciate a double bass kit and there were so many double bass kits oh. and that was just like awesome. there were which was oh. just fucking cool uh, i think too. i think all but <laughs> all but three bands i think had double bass mm. kits 
man. Um, and they do. They just just pummel you. Just yeah, John. And, John had shared a video and said that just ripping through. You. Yeah, that, that's what he was saying. Like like he felt the bass drum in his chest, mm -hmm. and then he was like, you know, surprised when the when the drummer said he needed more in the monitor or in yeah. his in his yeah. in ears. And he's like, Did you I can't feel that? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it, and and I mean, you looked at this kit, and it was it had the green logo on the bass drum mm -hmm. and the big rack, and it was black. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it just looked fucking cool. Yeah. Um, and yeah. and and they all know knew how to how to do it. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was very good. That was definitely a pleasant surprise. And then so next up, pursuit. Pursuit. Mm -hmm. um, who I unfortunately missed their entire set because yeah. I was interviewing Celestial yeah. Serpent and mm -hmm. waiting for them to. Um, get all loaded up and then yeah. just kind of hanging out and chatting with them and then doing the interview and yeah, yeah so I, I unfortunately missed uh, mm -hmm. Pursuit set we were right by the stage door so I heard it mm -hmm. and they sounded fucking phenomenal mm -hmm. than they did up in oh Duluth. yeah they did they definitely yeah. sounded even better than up in Duluth and I just took a few notes I, I think I got a video and maybe a couple pictures of them mm -hmm. um uh but I just got kick-ass thrashy hard awesome these are my notes mm -hmm. hard awesome hard awesome ass mash pit mosh pit but it changes to mash <laughs> stupid phone mosh pit awesome ass mosh pit mm -hmm. and then they're so good they they, they really are they good. really are good mm -hmm. um but yeah they had they they get and up in up in uh duluth they really had a mosh going too they were like yeah. come on let's go let's oh yeah mosh. yeah yeah for sure like for it sure. was it was good so yeah mm -hmm. yeah and 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 mosher dan was there we'll talk about him oh, a yes. little bit later because because he I'll, I'll just say this at one point during Maybe it was during Bludgeon set. It was mm -hmm. during somebody's set. I literally saw him back to the stage, turn around with a mm -hmm. big grin on his face, just surveying <laughs> what he had created. And mm -hmm. it was he was in his happy place for sure. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. I know he's been looking forward to this. Oh, for, for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. There's going to be fans. There's going to be lots of people. You guys put them more. <laughs> like, and I didn't really this time because I've been feeling kind of ouch lately. Yeah. So, yeah, she's still, um, still a little broken. So. Yeah. But and and, and, and I... I just, well, and he I had the camera won't. and stuff, so and, well, and he's I mean, tall. I, and, yeah, I had the camera and stuff, and, and when he falls you know. over, it's scary. Yeah. So it's yeah. a, it's a, only we had to witness it a couple of times, but it's he's a tall dude. When he falls over, it's a scary thing, mm -hmm. like heart stopping thing. So, um, but yeah, but, there was quite the crazy mosh going. But on again, mm -hmm. um, all the moshing that I saw, literally anyone, somebody oh, yeah. went down. Literally everybody stopped and went and picked them up. Mm -hmm. Anytime there was a bottle broken, which yeah. there were a couple, yeah. which I was thinking about that. It was a glass too. And in a venue like that, mm -hmm. that has the the kind of separate floor. Yeah. There shouldn't be any tables on the floor, especially yeah. for a metal show. There yeah. shouldn't be any tables on the floor, and there should be no glass allowed on yeah. the floor. Yeah. 
Just as a general rule. But do you have people, some people who aren't going to listen, or they don't even think about it, or, or, or somebody should be watching. Or you know. like at um, uh, the Metal Health show. Oh, yeah. Just after a certain time, oh, just start just serving everything plastic. in plastic. Yeah. Yeah, and, the one and at no, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because I say because because a glass broke and a bottle broke and mm-hmm. maybe two bottles. Like like there yeah. were like three or four instances where everybody stopped and I saw lights and everyone's yeah kind of picking up stuff and it's like mm-hmm. yeah. So mm-hmm. maybe yeah maybe as they get more metal shows maybe they'll they'll mm-hmm. adjust to that. But yeah. But mm-hmm. other than, yeah but again, this scene is just mm-hmm. in, in in that regard is some of the nicest. You know, kind of like they mm-hmm. they they look after their own, and they're just like, you know, yeah, you know, which is which is just awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, who who's up next? Uh, Broken Flesh. Broken Flesh, yeah. who I believe were the first band I interviewed, mm-hmm. and I heard the name, but it never, I didn't I didn't uh, explore them. I didn't, so I didn't really know anything about them. Mm-hmm. Um, all I knew was the name and that people thought they were awesome. Mm-hmm. So, and talking to them, again, just really seemingly good, solid dudes. You they know? got some interesting titles to their songs. I was looking at those and I'm like, ooh. ooh. And again, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and these will just be artwork. These will just be quick because, again. Yeah, we're trying to not make it be three hour long videos, guys. We really are. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, what notes do you have for? Oh, for uh, so Brook and Flash. Well, this is called Demon Seed. which is only two words but in my land that is like i am just i i have a like a crazy face i get when i find a new band that i'm taken by Mm -hmm. and um this was one of those where i looked at him and go blink blink like omg and this is just kick ass like i mean this is just Mm -hmm. like I, that awesome. The what the shirt I actually did want of theirs was like a Summer Slam something metal fest show. It was like a tour shirt. Mm. They had the Undertaker on the front, and then um, and they're the ones that at the end after we got our merch, they started said, "Wait a minute, here, take some more stickers. Take some more stickers." And so, the patch was theirs too, right? Mm, I, just to... I don't know if that one so. was. I think it was, they had a different patch, or is that? No, I think. Is that theirs? I think that's theirs. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I see. Like I think it. I see a yeah. B and an F in there. So, uh-huh. um, yeah. And these guys are from um, well, Oklahoma, this, right? Yes, and then but the lead singer is a local guy. Yeah, so, he, he's from St. Paul. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so that's and they did a real great with the audience too, and just just so good, like so much to watch, and just mm-hmm. so freaking tight, and just. And was he the one, was that the one where the guy um, stage left was like uh, the gray, were you there for that one? Um, the gray beards, like he's like, it's good to see some gray beards up here. And, um, or was that the other, or is that Torment? I can't remember. But um, that, Well, that I think that was whoever played after uh, Glutton. 
Oh shit, I don't or, have no, or, it's forgotten on here. That's, they're, they were before Poon Tickler, weren't they? Yes. So, yeah, so. That might have been Torment then, but. Yeah. Might have been. But yeah, but. Anyways. But. But, but yeah, they, the Broken Flash, like, you guys, you, you have. They think they had a little more of a melodic, a little more storytelling. It's, I felt like, in theirs, mm -hmm. weirdly enough. Um, <laughs> but I just, I was just captivated. So I. Yeah, they, they more... do, they do have a very, very good um, stage presence, mm -hmm. for sure. Good, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Good, good stage presence. Yeah. And yeah. Just, um, yeah, that's what I got for them. And then, like, yeah, we do have some videos and some pics, too. And then, so we have Torment. Torment. Ooh. Um, Duluth Boys. Look as you can, as you can tell. This is just so cool. Like, it's just, uh, let's see which way, there, that way. There you can see the Phoenix, crazy Phoenix chicken man <laughs> thing, um, on the, the port for the canal, the lift bridge there mm -hmm. and um yeah that is like awesome that is just so freaking amazing um and because yeah we love Duluth to start with and then that yeah. they were like we were buying merch and then one of the girls said like, no no you're, you need a this flyer too take this and we're like oh yeah like this uh, this guy and then oh yeah that's the girls where the one girl is like the girl with the green hair she goes Oh, I have my walls all covered in stuff, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She goes, I put posters on my walls and stuff, too. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, his place. Like, he'll have to find someone for that. And, and then she was like, give me a hug. And I'm like, cool. I'm, yeah, I like yeah, hugs. Yeah, so, and and again, they're, they're one of the ones that I got in before mm -hmm. uh, Doors. And I'd never heard them. But again, just talking to them, it's like, okay, you guys are cool. I, mm -hmm. I like you guys. Yeah. And again, they're they're from Duluth, and we we're talking about the Duluth scene and, and mm -hmm. how we were just up there two weeks ago with the show at Pursuit, and they're like, "Oh yeah!" Like a couple of them were at that show, oh. and they were just like, "Oh yeah, the the, the one with that any range, right?" And I'm like, mm -hmm. "Yeah," and like, "Yeah, that was an awesome show." Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, they, they just seem like again, just good dudes, you know. Mm -hmm. And okay, I'll let you know, not not that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Oh, so who's this? This one is, oh, this is the Torment Pants, the, the, the shorts. The shorts that there was some confusion about. Yeah, um, these are so soft. They though. are, they are really, they are really like soft. They are like a silky, so nice. So nice. Um, like, yeah, but he, the, when we, he was rounding up our merch, he's like, wait a minute, a, extra large, we don't need an extra large shirt. Yeah, because I thought we got here? three shirts, and, and it's like, and then, so I show them to you, mm -hmm. and then brought them back to the lady to not green haired lady but the, the other, other one. lady and she yeah. was like oh these are your shorts and i was like oh yeah. shorts yeah and then i go back to you i'm like that's the sh shorts and you were like oh, right. yeah 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 <laughs> so we do appreciate her yes for sure you know wrangling um, us so we didn't lose our so shorts so yeah but yeah and this is just like this is just 
freaking cool. Yeah, and this is the one that you Swallow got. your teeth, and it's got the zombies. And it's got the zombies. Like, oh my gosh, zombies. And I love zombies. So, oh, it's <laughs> so cool. I'm, I just, I love it. <clears throat> I love it so much. So. And then I picked up. And then this, this is one. really cool, too. I mean, this is just like. Yeah, I just yeah. needed. That is just badass. And then it's got it's got down to the, the little torment uh, thing on the sleeves. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I've never seen these guys. And again, just talking to them, it's like, okay, these these guys are cool. And they come out and mm. Yeah. Mm. um, yeah, probably <laughs> probably one of the better drummers I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And again, and uh, not a slight towards anyone else, mm -hmm. but I've noticed in the more extreme metal uh, universe, mm -hmm. um, the one thing that bugs me about it, and, and I'm going to get a little technical and, and nerdy here for a second, <laughs> um, like when watching Celestial Serpent or, mm -hmm. or, is it them? And then a little bit... Um, with uh eternal mm. when you go into the blast beats mm -hmm. it's like the snare just went away oh and it just became like a like a din mm -hmm. which is the one thing that, that's always bugged me about uh the, the death metal stuff and the faster from people going to blast beats you can't hear it this dude i don't know what mm -hmm. protein powder he's injecting into his wrist <laughs> Because even at his fastest blast, oh, which was goodness. pretty quick, uh -huh. you could still distinctly hear every single snare head. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's fucking impressive. I mean, that's beyond impressive. And I was talking to um, uh, the the guys in Torment, two of the guys in Torment, mm -hmm. or not Torment, um, the other one, Pursuit. Uh, broke, oh, yeah. Pursuit. And and I, and this is right after Torment played, and I, and I was saying this and they're like oh yeah the dude's mm. fucking amazing and i'm like yeah he is <laughs> <laughs> so um and honestly i don't remember much of the rest of the uh -huh. i was just focused on this dude and i'm just like mm. and he looks like such a because he was the dude with almost like the mohawk and uh -huh. the mustache and the glasses yeah and i'm like you look like such a you know nice little clean cut little huh -huh, but <laughs> get him on stage and dude's a monster mm -hmm. um so yeah I, I i feel bad that i've been ignoring Mm. these guys for, well. for as long as I have because Jesus fuck well, now we know <laughs> now we know mm -hmm. and, and as they say knowing is half the battle mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. and again it's easy to do that on record like if mm. you can do that on record yeah, yeah. but to mm -hmm. do it live mm -hmm. oh yeah and he had power and, oh, yeah. and control and he just clean just absolutely clean playing mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. <sighs> Yeah. It's very nice to witness. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. I just got to add, just like, they're, they're really freaking hard, but they still have a little bit of melodic tones in there. Yeah, they had enough variety still. to keep it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, and then I just reiterated your, like, I'm like, fastest drummer ever, but he's really got an interesting style which mm -hmm. equates to all the technical stuff he just said mm -hmm. but like i'm not a drummer and i'm just like what about this and that and i'm yeah. like always asking him questions and yeah about a song and a half in you kind of looked over and said <gasps> yeah like what? what is happening like that really good like oh my god what <laughs> thing mm -hmm. yeah Another favorite band. Another favorite band, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. So then we have Poon Tickler, which I um, missed most of because I was in... No, Glutton was actually... Oh, Glutton. There. That's where Glutton was. So that's, that's where... I believe that's where Glutton was. I think it was. They might have been before. I don't know. They were in there somewhere. Um, because... Um, I, I unfortunately missed their set, too. Apologizes, Rob. I um, did not miss their set. But they... I don't even know what to say because they're just so perfect.
machine. They're a machine. That they're an a absolute machine. Well oiled, yeah. perfectly working machine. Yeah. I, I don't even know what words to say because I just like. Mm -hmm. They're another one that you can kind of like just sit back and close your eyes and just let oh, it. Oh, is this the one with the new you. singer? Uh, with Eric Keys, yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Because Al used to sing with them. Didn't uh, was it Al or was I believe, it? I believe, I believe it was, it was Al, Al. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then Juan Carlos was their guitar player for a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, so, uh, I mean, yeah, I, still, holy crap! Like, mm -hmm. really good. Like, I'm just happy. <laughs> happy place that's all i can say really about glutton was i mean i didn't even make notes i didn't even put the name down because i was just like Ooh, okay i'm i'm in a happy place mm -hmm. and this is great and look at this this is great yeah this is one of the new ones this they had, they had two two brand new shirt the designs other. there we go um and this is one of them and i don't look remember what the, what the other one looks like got teeth and it, it had more skulls and yeah, stuff yeah it had more it was a little more, more, more of a scene yeah elaborate stuff um, um, there but, might have been something with the cross and someone getting stabbed or something, but I yeah, was that's, just like, that's what it was. I was thinking it was a little like, too much for me. Yeah, but. yeah. So, so we both picked up mm. one of these, mm -hmm. um, and um, you didn't get any CDs. I did not, but that's not but to I, say I'm not going to steal yours. But I, th I think I have because I think almost all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but um, Rob Carlson and and uh, Nate, I forget his last name. Uh, goes to my uh, Natanic. Um, oh, Paler. With is it something like that? Something it's like that, yeah. P-H-L-E-R yeah. or something. Um, I only like, like somehow Facebook stock people without trying to, but... Um, along with uh, Kellerman, mm. have a brand new... Yay! Like, hardcore, old-school thrash project mm -hmm. called Die Hard Corpse. Um and so Which so is, they were there this is a mini unboxing over here this is a mini unboxing um look at that patch that's that's that sweet. patch is I badass like that. i'm I gonna like have to put that on my mm, right there shoulder yep. um get busy we're gonna have a we're gonna have watching pizza eating thimble wearing sewing patch sewing party him and i yeah and if anybody wants to join us I and mean, let us know we'll bring you in on our free pizza and beer so look at that that's pretty cool that's neat yeah and then this mm. Yeah. Yeah. So the, these guys, whenever they start doing shows, I'm going to be really, really excited because mm. this is going to be good. I have a feeling this is going to be really mm. good. Um, and yeah, Glutton for Punishment, you can't argue with. They're a fucking machine. Oh, um, man. And it was during my interview with them, which uh, somehow was like twice as long as, as everybody else's Because they just had stuff. Um, well, they have stuff to say, and, and I'm friends with Rob. I mean, I, I did a solo interview with Rob many and many years ago, sitting mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. um, and and then they were talking about uh, Slam Dakota, mm -hmm. which is another fest we might have to adventure to yeah. at some point. Oh, yeah. Um, we're and, and eventually saying, we're going to get everywhere. So. Yeah, eventually we'll get to there. We'll get to, to uh, Milwaukee, mm -hmm. and then there's a Michigan Metal Fest, mm -hmm. which I think is in... Michigan? I mean, yeah, Michigan somewhere. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I don't know exactly what city, but mm. anyway. Yeah, um, me yeah, I mean, I was talking about But uh, this is one that, that I know a lot of people go to and a lot of people look mm. forward to every year is, is mm -hmm. Slam Dakota. So, mm -hmm. And they usually have uh, fairly solid lineups. Mm -hmm. So, cool. Um, we were just chatting about that. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So where are we at now? We're at, uh, now we're at Poon Tickler, I believe, right? Uh, I be yeah, because it was Poon Tickler, then... Mm -hmm. Then bludgeon, bludgeon deterioration and then immortal. Immortal. gotcha. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so now we're at Punticular. Um so this is the one I missed most of because I was in conversations. Um and then like you said, would it feel like they did a shorter set? Actually? It it felt shorter because I thought mm. they well, I mean the lineup uh got slightly altered mm. from what uh the research I had because I thought they were supposed to be like third to last. Mm. Uh, doing one of the one of the three 45 minute kind of headliner sets mm. and as i said to her if they played 25 minutes i'd be very surprised it did seem to go by very very quickly yeah um but they're uh a duo uh, uh they were from florida weren't they uh vegas vegas vegas, vegas. i think that she said florida nope they're from vegas oh well, um, dang which okay. kind of explains some mm. things um 
So that's the CD. And as two of them, it's it's um, this bearded, the bearded, bearded, the bearded, bearded guy, guy who performs in a uh, ski mask, mm -hmm. which neon green ski mask. Neon green ski mask. I was not too thrilled because I don't like yeah. ski masks. And then, and then right there, and there's then her badass um, chick up there. And they both uh, play guitar and do vocals, and they both do growly vocals. They both do. Well, I don't think. I don't know if he did any of the screechy, screamy vocals. I think she did, though, on a couple songs. Um, this one's about getting your dick up from behind. Song titles are quite quite interesting. Yeah, um, I don't know if you can make any of those out or yeah. if if YouTube will pull this because of that. But um, if we can get it to focus, focus right here. Oh, oh, that ain't right. Anyway, that's probably that's probably close enough. You can see it if you if you want. Yeah. Um, and so. Um, yes, yeah, so you're gonna have to be very careful with this shirt. Here, we'll we'll, we'll show the back first. Yeah, <laughs> we'll show the, the the back, which is safe first. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, even even this logo might be problematic. Um, um, I'm gonna cover the real bad part so we don't end up getting. Well, I figure we'll go to about right there. There, yeah. Um, and uh -huh. as I said, oh, I think I may have flashed it. That's okay. Oops. Um, a split second. If if you're familiar with the team of the mutilated cover, you can kind of figure it out. Oh, so they mm. place it on a farm, and there's extra um, bodily matter yes. involved. Um, yes. Number two. But um, all that being said, I mean, they they were really really nice. They seemed mm -hmm. really really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and and one of the questions I asked them was just kind of like, okay, where does this come from? And she was like, the the songs, the band name, and I'm like, just all of it. And she was she was just like true life experience and I was like, <laughs> okay i think that's all i need to know <laughs> because yeah some yeah. some and and look they, at some of the song titles and then yeah look at some of the song titles and you can imagine um a lot what, what their onstage banter uh mm. would be like mm -hmm. um i mean funniest line which had nothing to do with any of the songs is mm. i don't know if i can actually repeat anything that mm -hmm. um they said about the songs Mm -hmm. But at one point, um, the the guy started tuning, mm -hmm. and she looks over and says, uh, and then goes to the crowd and said, yeah, we're a grindcore band, and this dude is tuning his guitar. <laughs> and everybody got a good laugh out of that. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. 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 Yeah, they seem, they're, they're. Yeah, they, they seem cool. cool. They seem, they seem cool. Had, um, like, good very, audience. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. And, and again, this was another one that a lot of people were, were mm -hmm. oh, yeah. looking forward to. And it surprised me, and I asked them how long they'd been around. They were like, oh, year, year and a half. Mm. And I was like, Yeah, they had a really? lot of people taking, <laughs> to take pictures with them. Oh, like, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Booth. Like, a lot of people were like, pictures, pictures, and stuff. And so, they, so they definitely have yeah. a reputation. 
So that's why he's oh. like, whoa, hey, let's, I was like, oh, well, why don't you do an interview? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, and yeah. then, yeah, I started doing it, and then literally halfway through, Pludgeon mm-hmm. starts playing. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, eh. Um, mm-hmm. So... Yeah, um, so we're getting better at this this we're, process. We're, 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 gonna, we're not professionals by far, but we're we're working on stuff. So mm-hmm. although I don't know if you were around for this uh, at some point when we were outside, and Greg kind of came out and um, was just kind of standing there, and this kind of drunk dude comes up and said, because I told him I think too, and he's like, "So you guys are the photographers, eh?" And I turned to Greg and I'm like, "He's more of a photographer than mm-hmm. I am. I wouldn't even mm-hmm. consider myself." But apparently, as long as you're carrying some sort of tripod with a mic, people will be like, oh, okay, yeah. But you're a videographer. <laughs> I'm a videographer. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. And I just run around and fangirl at all the bands. <laughs> I just sit there as a fly on the wall and listen to the interviews so, mm-hmm. and try to keep And your, try to keep me your your list. online, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Which right. I think next time we need to print out your list of questions. So yeah, my yeah. phone keeps um, like going back to lock screen, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll and have to, I'll, I'll start bringing like a notebook like a, or something. And, yeah, and a little for, for each show, I'll, yeah, do mm-hmm. that. Okay. Um, okay, so who... Uh, who was next? Uh, Bludgeon. Bludgeon was up next. Yep. Um, Which we've seen, what, this is the fourth time maybe we've seen them? Third or fourth time seeing yeah. Bludgeon. Um, mm-hmm. They're growing on me. Mm-hmm. I know in earlier videos I've had opinions about them but and and after talking to him it's mm-hmm. like okay they're i mean mm-hmm. willie's just as he's, he's really as, as natalie very interesting soul as natalie says he's just a big nerd <laughs> which, which he is i can see that um and then uh the bass player ben it seems a little quiet but you mm-hmm. know he, he, had, a, still, he had a good vibe he does him, his yeah. thing yeah yeah, yeah. Um, very Still and, very interesting. And watch. then there's Rummer who uh, missed the interview. Mm. Uh, we don't know what exactly he was doing. Uh, but he, mm. he's really good, too. I, I mm. He's fun to watch. I really like watching him. Because he puts everything in oh, the, yeah. into his playing. Yeah. Um, really, like, I was afraid his um, <sighs> bass was going to go, like, flying off <laughs> the edge of that riser. I was just like, ooh, it's really, like, on the edge. And he is pummeling those. And I was just kind of like, ugh. And then I just got like they're there. It seems like like they're loud. Like like just one of the loudest <laughs> bands. Like every time. Like what band is it that always gets the um, uh, Skid Row? Wasn't it that always gets the thing f- for being like the loudest band? Isn't it Sebastian Bach, who's the singer for Skid Row? Mm-hmm. I saw him at Hinkley a few years mm-hmm. back, and people were all talking about it being like the loudest. And they were so, he was so loud, <laughs> him and his, his van, backing van, band, because it wasn't, you know. Yeah, it was a bathroom box. So. But holy crap, um, Bludgeon is that version for local to me, because it feels like every time I see them, they get louder. 
and louder, but still so good. Mm -hmm. And um, three guys. Yeah. But they're so loud and so nice loud and, and so it feels like more because they're all so busy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the bass player is just, yeah. just all over the place and, oh, and Willie's just all over the place and, and oh. I mean the drummer is, is nuts and so yeah. it sounds like a lot more than three people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's just three people. But so <laughs> good. Like I like the first time I saw them I wasn't so we we think there was a little more as we call it guitar wankery in there. Mm -hmm. But um now the, since the since the second time I saw them, I think that was Club Underground, maybe. Uh, I believe so, um, yeah. For but I was just like, wait a minute. Ooh, like, I, th th got me. The second time around, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. got me now. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm a fan. Um, and then, like, yeah, and so that's deterioration, sweetheart. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. So, oh, that's right, because they didn't have any shirts Yeah, they didn't have size. any shirts in our size because um, oh, we yeah, only right. had yeah. small people sizes, which I threatened. I mean, I thought of slash by the look on willie's face threatened uh to, suggested i suggested <laughs> but i think willie felt threatened by it huh? and i'm just ribbing you man but um i said well you have like four different shirts here i could get like six different shirts or so and i could make like a moo -moo with, yeah, and just with all of it yeah human and backdrop. Then he's like yeah you could be like a human backdrop but he goes but you're not big enough which i'm like well thanks buddy like mm. i felt a little that good <laughs> but um but I still have a half a mind to take like six shirts and just cut the artwork out and mm -hmm. sew them together, and then use like the sleeves and the extra stuff to make like a a freaking bludgeon dress. Mm -hmm. I really have a half, and I can sew half-assed pretty good. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm but you no know, shirts for me, no shirts for you. Come on, man. Um, but they did have CDs. I was so gonna, we're gonna say, give them a pass. This is the fourth time we've seen them, and they yeah. we finally get merch from them. Yeah. So so, so we get CDs, and I so, think did you get a patch too? Um, yeah, I think you already showed. No, I didn't. No, get a, you didn't get a patch. No. Oh, I thought you did. Okay. Anyway, CDs. Though, yeah, least, I think so. I think all we got from them was, so was I CDs. Can, I can. Hey, editor Ryan here. Um, I was going through my backpack to go to work, and discovered more merch that we have, but forgot to mention. Um. So we got Poon Tickler sticker and apparently a Poon Tickler patch too, which I don't remember um, getting per se. Um, and then this for Serpent. We may have shown these, but these are really cool. Um, no, we didn't because we showed those. So we got these too. Um, and then these shiny ones, which I'm not sure exactly what they say. Um, it's either D-Town or O-Town Beatdown. Um, not sure exactly what's that, what that's in reference to. Um, but I think it was at, um, this guy's table. Um, <clears throat> we also got some very thick, very heavy duty, um, bludgeon magnets. One in red. And one in green. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, back to the regular scheduled stuff. Like make yeah. my ears happy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean they're just they're they're good. I really am really liking the local. They're St. Cloud, aren't they? Um, um I believe so. Mm -hmm. So I yeah, they're they're in state at least. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really excited. Um, so. But yeah, we got to get some sizes for our Ross paper. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so Legend was awesome. Yeah, as usual. yeah. I'm, and I'm and really and again, uh, in doing the interviews, um, one of the questions that I ask is who you're looking forward to on this bill today, mm -hmm. and a lot of people said Legend. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, uh, a lot of people are saying Legend. And who in particular? Legend, um, um, Broken Flesh. Who in particular? Uh, Broken Flesh. Celestial Serpent. I know Everybody, really. Work, I mean, de Deterioration had a lot of votes, too. The support yeah. that the bands have have for the other bands on mm -hmm. this, you call it a bill, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are awesome. <laughs> like I, I have seen so much support, not just down in the pit and, and stuff, but just so much support just overall, yeah. the other bands to the other bands. Like, mm -hmm. you guys just got each other's and your fans you know mm -hmm. you're not just a band there to play you're also fans so yeah i mean i awesome. saw 
I think members, at least members of most of the bands, mm -hmm. like even when we left at the very end, like they were still like hanging out and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, we, we really do support each other in this, in this community, mm -hmm. which is nice, which is very, um, very nice. Going back to Torment, Torment was the one with the lead singer in the hoodie, yeah, mm -hmm. who had kind of like his alter ego once he got on stage. Yeah, kind of a, a little bit, yeah. Like, you know, but also good, like, persona, stage persona, like, mm -hmm. stage presence. There we go. But, um, yeah. So the next one, we had deterioration. So, which, a lot, there were a lot of people looking forward to seeing them, too. Yeah. And this was like, one of the, the older bands, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, because I asked them, you know, how long they've been around, and they're like, the Brutal Midwest Grindcore. We just celebrated our 20th anniversary. Mm. They did not have CDs, but they did have vinyl. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, these guys, again, this is a band I've heard about, obviously, forever. Mm -hmm. And just have never caught. And, um... Yeah. Because it's a, it's a two-person band. It's it's a guitar player and a, and a drummer. Mm -hmm. Pretty blue. Look how pretty that um, is. It's really pretty. And, um... It's, it's grindcore, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I mean, you know, grindcore or whatever. But there was something about um, these guys' presence on stage that that turned me. Oh, that's your picture. Yeah, that. that's, that's really sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there's... That's nice. Kind of one of them. Uh, Jim... I've forgotten everybody's name. I apologize. Well, Jim is guitar, bass, vocals, and Joe is Oh, drums. Jim and Joe. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um... Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I, as I said, I enjoyed their set a lot more than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. I was kind of looking forward to them after, especially after hearing the other bands talking about them, because like I said, I was kind of sitting there like, ooh, listening a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, so I heard them saying how like, you know, they would be like outside the stage door and come in and they thought there was this whole stage full of dudes up there and they walk in and it's two dudes. And it's two people. And it, two guys. And it's <laughs> like, holy shit. Like... So, um, yeah, they, they really, I, my words from my brain was holy S two guys onslaught of insanity because mm -hmm. my mind just went like, ah, and then, um, loud and super fast. Um, yeah, their drummer wasn't, Joe wasn't insane too. He had that interesting, um, symbol on top of his, of his bass drum that had a weird tone to it and i don't know the terms you guys um that's a china i think it was a it to me he actually his drum kit and this is the first time i think i'm ever gonna say this but his it sounded like his you know how when guys play the guitar and it sounds like a voice like the like there's an, a person singing but they're just really actually making no sounds on their guitar right his 
he his drum kit he made noises with it that almost made me think there was people singing like his I, I kit actually yeah. sang to yeah. me yeah, I weird so weird to me um but and yeah i just don't know why and then they're they're, uh, they're another freaking steamroller that will just run right over you they were in, and, in a and, good way and um um i mean the vocals jim's vocals were going between like yelling not even mm -hmm. screeching not mm -hmm. even melodic just yelling yeah. Uh, to some growly stuff, but somehow, amongst all of that, there was almost like some melody. Like, mm -hmm. there was something else. It wasn't just... Yeah. Da -da -da -da. yeah. There was something <laughs> else to it that, that kind of... Like, kinda he was telling me. a story, but yeah. it was real growly and, and yelly, and, but still telling a story. And we'll get those later. Okay, I was just seeing, yeah. making sure I didn't... Okay, sorry. Did you, did you miss anything? Yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah. Um... So. But yeah, yeah, I I, I definitely uh, was intrigued by mm -hmm. that. Oh sure. yeah, yep. And yeah. then I, and then uh, one vinyl that I did get um, was there apparently only in last uh, uh, that big one. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, so th this was the last copy that they had of this like, one. Well, I need both of the vinyls, and the dude's like, "Here you go, it's the last one." And I'm like, Whoa, "Even look better, at the last one." I'm like, "All <laughs> right." I'm like, "I love that." Mm -hmm. So. Um, unique things, you know, and I wanted it anyways, but it makes it even a little more special. Oh, of course. But, of course. um, yeah, so then, and then, so now we have Immortal Suffering. Immortal Suffering. Immortal Suffering, yes. So that was um, the last band, the headliner. Immortal Suffering from New York. New York, New York. Okay, so this is pretty cool. We have some Tormented Skulls on there. Mm -hmm. And that could be a band named Tormented, Tormented Skulls. Tormented Skulls, I'm sure it is yeah. somewhere. And then we got some stickers that kind of like tick stickers, tank stickers. That's pretty cool too. Like, and this patch is, I think, my favorite patch ever so far. Like, it's real cool. And then it's got that green on it. Mm -hmm. So it's really, Which I, we know I, we I, I do like that. So. Yeah. All right, everybody. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. He, yeah, they, they had like yeah. five or six total, but... Yeah, this one is apparently a reissue. Mm -hmm. But I was kind of like looking at him, and I'm like, well, let's see, because I think I was looking at the titles of the signs on the back, and there were a couple that where they had um, repeat songs on them, probably because they're reissues and stuff, but I was ooh. So I was just like, well, let's, you know, get mm -hmm. this and this and that and that, so... And they have some interesting titles of songs too. I was looking at and mm -hmm. really liking, but yeah, they have a stage presence. Holy cow! They're another perfection band where they're just all up there. Is that kind of well-oiled machine? Yeah, for sure. Um, I kind of got a menace vibe from them. Like they're so smooth and put together. It reminded me of seeing when I see Menace, the band Menace. That they're just like so. Mm -hmm perfect but um man 
that they they were good and i didn't know what to expect from them and um and look at all the music i have to listen to now and the artwork is just freaking phenomenal like mm -hmm. the artwork alone is worth to me worth to get that so to have my hands on that mm -hmm. cd and um yeah i just i'm just um yeah so they, i really they, like them yeah these guys um their last band um and when they first started like everybody was outside mm -hmm. so when they first went in the first song there was maybe mm -hmm. 15 people yeah. in the crowd mm -hmm. um so i felt a little bit bad but then everybody else came in and, and you know yeah. showed them showed them welcome and which they did uh mention on stage a couple mm -hmm. times is that mm -hmm. uh this is their i think their first time here i believe, I believe so yes um and just said how how cool it was mm -hmm. and 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 our scene was really that, good. Yeah, that the scene was For really being good. Here, you know, and yeah. the scene was just really <clears throat> good, surprisingly yeah. good. So. so, so if a band can come in from New York mm -hmm. first time on a delayed flight mm -hmm. um, to this kind of a, a festival in its second year and recognize however long they were here, but in that time recognize that the scene was was that. Mm -hmm. you know tight and that whatever that that's that speaks volumes actually oh, yeah. you mm -hmm. know so yeah they they just and they did some of the song clips like song clips before their songs kind of like what um rob Zom rob zombie does yeah the, the um, samples you know kind of there we go yeah you know mm -hmm. the you, you know everything <laughs> so um but uh and then there was uh there the whole they had a crazy mosh pit going on too oh they yeah yeah had, towards like, the end they, they i was they, thinking they, we yeah. were gonna need some ambulances after that like there was yeah because that was one of the ones that was one of the ones where the where the bottle broke yep yeah, yeah. Oh, no. and then a table and, almost got knocked over yeah and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah it got kind of nuts but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but yeah that but was, in the best way that was yeah good mosh that was good to see some good moshing going on yeah um audience participation but mm -hmm. um as they say but yeah they were they were really good i was i was impressed by them yeah yeah for mm -hmm. sure An another yeah. insane we, we told them to come back to us oh absolutely come back yeah yep. yeah yeah mm -hmm. um another insanely good drummer mm -hmm. oh he, he was working yeah. overtime man <laughs> yeah that was that was really <clears throat> the, yeah. the holding thing but um, like just oh happy a happy ending yeah. not like that <laughs> but musically yeah um, a, a, hmm. yeah you could put on a t-shirt <clears throat> immortal suffering with a happy ending yeah hmm. anyways yeah and don't even don't even qualify it just leave yeah it like that just leave it like that just that's all you need to know as they'll leave you with a happy ending <laughs> yeah so that um, was a good that was an excellent show and yeah, no, but yeah, it was really, really good. And um, don't forget your button. No, I'm getting there. Okay, sorry. Um, but as we we were getting done, I'm going to back up to the bar to, to close out your tab mm -hmm. and talking to our friend Karen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, I even forgot what we were, I mean, I'm sure there was other conversation we we're just kind of chatting mm -hmm. about. Yeah, you know, oh, the, the other and, shows. The, oh, oh, yeah. The um, metal and Espanol. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. um because he was like Juan you know the guy and I'm like oh yeah Juan Carlos yeah I've been friends with him forever yeah mm -hmm. um and he does uh metal and espanol thank you mm -hmm. um I think it's Suaro and like some different ones are on that bill yeah the, the, mm -hmm. yeah and and uh Dominion oh is yes on this one mm -hmm. um who are who we've talked about because when we saw him we were blown mm -hmm fuck away by him mm -hmm. and it's the the uh three remaining members of hex vortices and then a couple other guys and uh, yeah they're 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 good mm -hmm. um so that's happening uh i think it's next saturday next weekend the, the next, july 1st yeah mm -hmm. we'll say dates because i don't know when i'm gonna post this but mm -hmm. um that's happening july 1st over at mmc so if you're not doing anything i would suggest checking that out because that'll be that'll be fun mm -hmm. um but anyway as we were uh kind of getting done she's like oh yeah and and you guys have some buttons too mm -hmm. and just kind of chuck these at us yeah. and they also have t-shirts that say this and yep. i mean because they have their own their own merch um, yep um again they've been around for yeah 90 Almost, year, yeah, 90 90 years, years 90 years Fuck. <laughs> insane insane mm -hmm. um 
And you could tell, I mean, the, the history in that place, mm. just down the oh, walls. Yeah. And, and just, you could just feel it. You can feel it in mm. the air, for sure. And then, um, and then as we were leaving, I'm like, there's so many stools and chairs in here. It's like, you can't find a seat in this place. I don't know what to tell you. And one of the waitresses was pushing in. She's just like laughing because <laughs> she's pushing in all the chairs, organizing them. But yeah, there's like, it's yeah, nice because well, you can find somewhere to sit. Oh, for sure. For sure. And you yeah. can see the stage from... From pretty much... Mm -hmm. Unless you're in one of those first booths that they were using for merch. Yeah. Um, you could pretty yeah, much see the was... stage from anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's, it's actually a, good... a really nice setup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and the sound was amazing. Mm -hmm. And the stage is really nice. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it was... It was... It's one of my, I think it's probably that, and then maybe Route 47, well, and then kind of Club Underground, but mm -hmm. are my, like, some of my favorite places so far, so, mm -hmm. yeah, I really, really like them, yeah. the way they're set up and stuff, but. Yeah, all of my favorites have closed, but that's where, mm -hmm. Lee's and, and, I was going to say, R.I.P. Lee's, R.I.P. Lee's, uh, R.I.P. Lee's, uh, R.I.P. Part Wolf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but, yeah. Yeah, so. As I was saying, compared to last year, I think I saw more familiar people. Because mm -hmm. let's go through the list. Um, I mean, Natalie was there, of course, because mm -hmm. that's her baby. Mm -hmm. um, but Kellerman showed up. Mm -hmm. um, Juan Carlos and Jenny showed up with, with David, mm -hmm. who's the drummer for Blood War, who's mm -hmm. Jenny's brother. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Bud was there. He was shooting mm -hmm. Glutton. Mm -hmm. um, Greg. Greg was there. He was shooting... Kind of everybody, I think. Mm, I think so. Uh, or most of the Keely. bands. Uh, Keely was there. Matt was not. But yeah, yeah that's okay. And then Jess actually got to talk to Jess a little uh, bit. Jess Carlson, uh, Rob's much. wife, who I have never technically met, but oh. you, you get to hang I, with I her. I was just like, cool. I recognize you. And I um, talk, talk. And, and then um, towards the end, I saw um, Kirsten and Jeremy. Um, well, I don't think you've met yet. I don't know if I have because that doesn't um, ring a bell at all. Uh, they were kind of sitting behind where we were standing at the bar. Bigger dude. Oh, um, oh okay. Yeah, yeah they're, right. they're, they're power uh -huh. lifters. Uh, but right. they're in oh, the band. You told me about them. Yeah, they, they both used to yeah. be in... in uh, was Blood War or Down of Here? No, it was one of the two. Why did I say my brain told me Blood War? I think it was Blood War. But yeah. I don't know. And then the one dude that had the awesome Down of Here, and I'm sure... Oh, Andy was wearing yeah, that Andy. one. Um, yeah, but, but last I've heard as... as Right before pre-COVID, they were they were in a more of a grindcore band called uh, Brain Bleed. Oh. Um, and then they were with uh, I think Drew Blood, who used to be the singer for oh. Coffin Rights. Oh. Yeah. Uh, was sitting yeah. with them. So yeah, a, a lot of familiar. Fa and then Chris Stark was there, mm. um, representing the the uh, NYDM. Mm. NYDM and yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then a couple other people with the. NYDM vest, who I don't know. And then, um, and then um, Masha Dan, of course, was there. Dennis, Dennis. Um, and Dennis Kern was there. Yeah, I saw um, him, I believe. And John Stinson was there. Yeah. Who is the reason I miss Clinton's set. Oh, Alex, well, of course, Alex oh, was and, there because Masha Dan was and there. And Alex was there. So, yep. I mean, yeah, there Alex were a ton Alex. of people there. So, um, yeah. which, which made it all that much better because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, even if you, like, went outside to get away from everything, mm -hmm. within two minutes, you would be looking at someone that you yeah. knew and to talk to and and there's a few there's a pile of people that looked familiar you oh know, yeah they're always I'm is. like do i they're know always is, I yeah. know? and like once again like i always say if you know i should know you but i'm being stupid come <laughs> over come over and say hi i might be distracted by something or i mm -hmm. might not have even saw you over there or you know and everybody knows him mm -hmm. you know but even if know. i don't know who they are they yeah. somehow uh, know who i am so so but yeah don't be shy we won't bite unless tell us to um <laughs> but yeah so it's you know it's it's nice just gosh we had so many people that support everybody it's just amazing i love yeah, it so yeah. much and then then it was kind of funny because a couple of the people i talked to was like yeah i haven't been out in because i know yeah. john mm -hmm. hasn't been out in ages and it was dennis that called him and say hey mm -hmm. that's best to go and i was like okay mm -hmm. so they they came out because i haven't seen dennis around for a while mm -hmm. for a minute and yeah so yeah i mean it's just it's just good seeing people out and, yeah. and the interaction because you know mm -hmm. it's it's family at this point oh yeah it really is yeah it's, it's so good i just love it so mm -hmm. much thank and, you for listening to us again yeah and thank you for for tuning in and and if you haven't subscribed yeah do it do it you know be be number 107 Ooh. um 
And yeah. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. And support every single one of your locals. Support. Support live music for sure. Uh, And support your local, I don't know, cheese makers and Mm -hmm. bakeries and bookstores and yeah yeah all of that so it doesn't go away because that's what happens because that's what happens. they don't get supported mm-hmm. so. exactly. exactly and then you're gonna miss them yeah and then you'll be between complaining that well it yeah. used to be there but it's not yeah like cause you never went there mm-hmm. um yeah so mm-hmm. so till then carry on Between a cold